Hey, this is Brent from VIP Golf Cars, and we are here to demonstrate the installation of our precedent dash. What we've done is we've actually taken all the hardware out of the dash, and I've already removed the crown that you'll see. There's a lot of hardware that you will need to be taking apart. Here's just a variety of parts that came out. But like I said, we've already taken the hardware out, and now I'm just going to pop this dash completely apart. This all your wiring is going to stay for right now. We're going to need to remove this piece and this piece, which is what's left. Very simple, once all the hardware is off. You will also need to remove the steering wheel, pop the steering wheel cover off. There will be a nut here, and you'll have to pull the steering wheel off. Now once you're down at this area here, this is the only piece that's left. The ignition will have to be taken off of this piece, so will the light switch. This is an option. You can either install this on your new dash or you do not have to. That is up to you. But basically for now, we're just going to stick it right here and I'll show you how easy the dash goes on. Here is our new formed dash. Please take note, there is a collar to reinstall the ignition on our dash and you will need that collar as the stock part has an injection molded collar. Anyway, from here on over the steering column you move the dash down and you're at this area. You will notice that there is an outer lip and there's also an inner lip. Our panel needs to rest against that inside lip. It could not get any easier than this. Once you have it, it's pretty straightforward. You can see where your cable comes through your rubber mat. It's also a channel here for our cable. You can screw it this way. We prefer a cleaner look by taking the rubber mat down and installing it this way you will be receiving a hardware kit with your dash. Simple little screws and they're already pre-drilled for location. Screw your dash in place, place your rubber mat back. To hold your rubber mat in place you may feel like you need to put some of those little plastic Christmas trees to hold it into place, but that is your option. From here, the plastic crown that you will be screwing back on will hold the dash in place. And that is it. It's that simple. Have a great day from VIP Golf Cars. Oh, by the way, please check out the rest of our products. You're already on the website. And if you have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to give us a call and ask for Charlie. He'll answer any of your questions. Thank you very much.